I'm a photographer. Started as an actor, became a photographer along the way because I needed, no, I needed a living in between acting jobs and two publishers came to see me. They said, you have the largest unseen archive of Beatle photographs, and I didn't know that. And the new book is called Places I Remember, My Time with the Beatles. Time Magazine sent me to the Ed Sullivan Show, and uh, I photographed that as a photojournalist that afternoon, and, uh, and I spent a day or two with them there in their hotel room, photographing them as they played Monopoly and cards and whatnot, photographed the concert that night. And uh, the next year, the Daily Mirror called me and said, can you go to Nassau for us on an assignment with our reporter? So I did, I went down for a week, came back with pictures, showed them to Life Magazine before I sent them off to London. Life Magazine said, go back, so I did. And actually, I lived a block away from the stage, around the corner from the stage delicatessen. And before I went back, I, brought, I went in to speak to Max, the owner, who I knew, and I said, I'm going down to visit the Beatles again in Nassau. Uh, they're making help, so he gave me a couple of salamis and some bagels and locks to take with me. In Nassau, I, I became friends with them. And at one point, I'm sitting on the steps here with John, he's trying to comb my hair, with the, all of them. He's trying to comb my hair into a beetle cut. Ringo took the picture. I love that picture. Then they were going to Austria, Salzburg first, and then I spent the rest of the time that they were filming in Austria with them, went to London with them, and uh, became friends. Well, I was only about four or five years older than they were. Most of the other photographers around, the working news photographers, were much older than that. Um, I liked them, I got along with them. The other reason maybe that we became closer was I wasn't seeking something from them. I wasn't trying to get me in the pictures with them, and I was just hanging out with them. George came in, sat down at breakfast, and the way he looked was so unusual. I said, I've never seen you look that way. I've got to take a picture. I took it, and I call it my Hamlet picture because this is, to me, what I would expect Hamlet to look like or would hope Hamlet might look like. I never saw George look this way again. When I was over at George's house, he said, let's go over, visit John. This is Julian, John and Julian playing with a top on the floor at their house. While we were there, John and George started riffing. They had their guitars, and just for themselves, there was no audience except Julian, their little toddler. I thought that was lovely. It's almost like visiting with friends when I look through these pictures. I, somebody said, how can you remember all that? Well, look at this Paul dancing around, having fun, linking arms and with, with Ringo. I mean, my God, this is not for the camera. This they were doing just for fun. There was nothing, they weren't posing for cameras. This was just playing for themselves.